We've seen Nike sponsor clubs go head to head against Adidas sponsor clubs, but today two other very popular football kit brands get a chance to compete against each other in a Champions League battle. Today, guys, Puma clubs will take on Castore clubs. If you enjoy the videos, if you enjoy the random challenges and the content, please do me a favor and hit the like button for me. And of course, if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. Let's go. It is another kid battle on the channel. So, of course, Puma and Castore are absolutely huge in the football world. They are the kids suppliers for many massive football clubs. So let me introduce you to the eight Castori sponsored football clubs that are going to be participating in our Castori versus Puma Champions League. And club number one that will be representing Castori is of course Aston Villa. They are sponsored by Castori this season. They are in. Club number two that will be representing Castori is arguably the best club in Germany currently this season and it is Bayer Leverkusen. Yeah, they are sponsored by Castori guys. Castori club number three is a huge club from Scotland. It's not Celtic but it is Ray Rangers. Club number four that is rocking the Castori badge this season on their kits. It is a big club from Spain. They are the kings of the Europa League. It is none other than Sevilla. For club number five that will be representing the Castori brand, we have to go right back to the Premier League. And it's also a very, very big club. And of course, it's Newcastle. Well, for club number six, we're actually going to stay in the Premier League. And it is Wolverhampton Wanderers Wolves. They are sponsored by Castori this season. Club number seven that is representing Castori. We go right back to Spain. It is Athletic Club Bilbao. And for the last and final club that will be representing Castori, we're actually going to go to the Netherlands. It is a big club. They're having a wonderful season. It is Feyenoord. We got our eight Castori clubs. Now we need our eight Puma clubs. And hey, the Puma club, the first one on the list, it's a big one. It is a treble winning club. It is none other than Erling Holland with Manchester City. The second Puma club that will be representing them in this Champions League competition versus Castori. It is coming from Italy. It is also a very historic club it is AC Milan and Puma is actually kind of all over the map because from Italy we're going to the Bundesliga in Germany it is none other than the yellow wall it is Borussia Dortmund they are rocking Puma kits and we're gonna stay in Germany for the fourth Puma club because it's the other Borussia not Borussia Dortmund but Borussia Mönchengladbach they are also rocking Puma kits this year but for the fifth Puma club we are gonna go to Spain and it is a club that's making a fairy tale run this season very very unexpected but there's a lot of young talent and a lot of experience in this club. It is none other than Girona. To find club number six that will be representing Puma, we are actually going to go to France and it is RC Lens. And Puma's seventh club will also come from France. It is none other than Marseille with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. But for the last Puma representative, we're actually going to go all the way to Turkey and it's not Galatasaray, it's not Besiktas, it is Fenerbahce with Edin Dzeko. Fenerbahce rocks the Puma badge this season, so they qualify, guys. So we got our eight clubs that will be representing Castori. We got our eight clubs that will be representing Puma. Now we have to seed all those clubs into four groups of four. To make sure both brands start facing each other right away, we're of course going to use two wheels, a Puma wheel and a Castori wheel, and each group will have two clubs for each brand. That way we avoid having a group of just Puma clubs or a group of just Castori clubs. We don't want any of that happening. So let's find our first Castori club for group A, and it will be Bayer Leverkusen. And the second Castori club for group A to join Bayer Leverkusen. Will it be Wolves or Newcastle United? No, it is Wolves. And now we need two Puma clubs for Group A to join Bayer Leverkusen and Wolves. And the first club will be Borussia Dortmund. They will be representing Puma in Group A. And the second club that will be in Group A as the Puma representative, it will be the French side RC Lons. Welcome to Group A. In Group A, I would probably say that one Castori club in Bayer Leverkusen and one Puma club in Borussia Dortmund are probably the favorites to get out. Who will be our first Castore club for group B guys it will be a Spanish side it will be athletic club Bilbao and the second Castore club for group B it's an English side from the Premier League it is Newcastle United we got our two Castore clubs for group B now we're looking for two Puma clubs for group B and we're gonna have a German side here it will be Borussia Mönchengladbach that will be representing rep represent representing Puma in group B as the first club and the second Puma club that will be going into group B one from France, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, and Marseille. Group C, we're looking for our first Castore club for Group C. Is it Feyenoord or Aston Villa? It is the Dutch side, Feyenoord. Welcome to Group C, my friends. And the second Castore club to join Feyenoord in Group C, a Premier League side, Aston Villa. Now we need two Puma clubs for Group C to join Feyenoord and Aston Villa. And we're going to have a club from Turkey to represent Puma in Group C. Fenerbahce is going to be in there.
there. And the second Puma club to join, it's gonna come from Italy. I think this might be the group of death. It is AC Milan. Feyenoord and Aston Villa representing Castori in Group C, while AC Milan and Fenerbahce representing Puma. I don't know who will actually come out ahead in this group. Maybe Feyenoord is probably one of the weaker sides, but the other three, like Aston Villa, AC Milan, Fenerbahce is also very good. This also means there's only two Castori clubs left and two Puma clubs left, and they will all be going into Group D. And the two Castori clubs remaining are Rangers and Sevilla, while the two Puma clubs that will be joining Rangers and Sevilla are Manchester City and Girona. Man City representing Puma is for sure the clear favorite in Group D, but apart from that, Girona, Sevilla, I mean, you got Rangers. Who's coming in second place? No idea, seriously. So we've seeded all our Puma clubs and all our Castori clubs into four groups of four, how they're supposed to be. Let's go to the end of the group stage matches, but we're gonna do it a bit different. Sometimes I like to switch it up. We're gonna do it World Cup style this time. What that basically means is that every single team plays each other only once during the group stage matches, and the knockout fixtures are only a one-game playoff. You wanna be the best? You gotta perform under pressure. That's the bottom line. Our Castori versus Puma Champions League group stage matches are over, guys. Who's going to the quarterfinal? We're gonna start in Group A. In Group A, it was a Puma club that topped it. It was Borussia Dortmund on seven points, but a Castore club is second. Bayer Leverkusen on four points. I'm pretty sure I called it when I started the video. I said Borussia Dortmund and Bayer Leverkusen were gonna have one of each brands going into the quarterfinals, and that is the case. Wolves, unfortunately, not good enough. RC Lowndes, also unfortunately not good enough. They're both eliminated. In Group B, we also have one Puma club and one Castore club advancing. Newcastle United representing Castore topped the group on seven points, but Marseille representing Puma came in second on four points, therefore eliminating Athletic Club Bilbao and eliminating the Puma representative Borussia Mönchengladbach. And in Group C, we're also going to have one Puma club and one Castore club progress. Fenerbahce, though, they are representing Puma. They topped the group on seven points. Aston Villa representing Castore is in second on four points. AC Milan representing Puma on three points. Not good enough whatsoever. And Feyenoord representing Castore on two points. Bottom of the group. AC Milan and Feyenoord going home. And finally in Group D, well, it's the same story in Group D as the first three groups. One Puma club, one Castore club advancing. Manchester City representing Puma top the group. No uh, questions being asked there. Nine points from nine, so they are advancing. And Sevilla representing Castore is on six points. They are also advancing. Unfortunately for Girona and Rangers representing Puma and Castore. Rangers 0-0-3. They didn't get a single point, unfortunately. They are going home with Girona. So our quarterfinals look like like this. It will be Puma versus Puma, Borussia Dortmund versus Marseille. It will be Puma versus Castore, Fenerbahce versus Bayer Leverkusen, Castore versus Castore, Newcastle versus Sevilla, and then Puma in Manchester City will take on Castore in Aston Villa. Quarterfinals are over, guys. Do we have surprises? I would say so. Remember, it's only a one-game knockout playoff, so if you want to get to the semifinals, you got to perform under pressure. If you want to win it all, you got to perform under pressure. You only got one match. So, we're gonna start with Puma versus Puma. Borussia Dortmund versus Marseille. And Puma advances, but it's gonna be Marseille. It won't be Borussia Dortmund. 5-3 on penalties. It went to penalties. 2-2 after regular time. 2-2 after extra time. Marseille won on pens. They advance. Puma versus Castore. Fenerbahce versus Bayer Leverkusen. Castore comes out on top, but barely. Bayer Leverkusen 1-3-2. Eliminating a Puma club in Fenerbahce. Then we had Castore versus Castore in Newcastle versus Sevilla and Castore won. <laughs> but it wasn't Newcastle United's Castore. It was Sevilla. 3-2 as well. It was a very close game. But Sevilla, ultimately, they got the experience in these types of tournaments. We always talk about it. They're in the semifinals. And then the shock of the quarterfinals, Manchester City representing Puma. Aston Villa representing Castore. Aston Villa and Castore came out ahead. 3-2 as well. A lot of twos and a lot of threes in this quarterfinals. So many twos. Everyone scored two goals. 3-2 for Aston Villa eliminating Manchester City and the Puma Club. So in our semifinals, we only have one Puma Club remaining and that is Marseille. They will take on Bayer Leverkusen and Castore and then we will have Sevilla Castore versus Aston Villa Castore. The semifinals are done guys and I'm gonna spoil it for you. It will be an all Castore final because Marseille was eliminated by Bayer Leverkusen. The last remaining Puma Club, they are going home. Bayer Leverkusen and Castore will be in our final. But who will they face? Will it be Sevilla Castori or 
Aston Villa Castori. Well, it won't be Aston Villa with Unai Emery. It will be the experience of Sevilla, which is kind of ironic because Unai Emery used to manage Sevilla back in the day, and now he manages Aston Villa, so Unai Emery lost to his former club, which means our Puma versus Castori Champions League competition won't have any Puma representatives. It will be Castori versus Castori. It will be Bayer Leverkusen versus Sevilla. This should be a very, very good matchup. It is an all Castore final. Bayer Leverkusen with Xabi Alonso versus the proven, proven, proven when it matters. Put your stuff on the line, Sevilla. Sevilla always wins these types of finals. We are at Wembley Stadium, guys, for this final. Obviously, Sevilla is in their white Castore kits and Bayer Leverkusen are in their black with the red cross Castore kits. Should be a very, very interesting finale here. It's probably going to be very close because to both teams, I would say, are even in skill, but uh, obviously Bayer Leverkusen is having a much better season this season than Sevilla, but Sevilla, hey, they're known to pull things off in finals. They're known for their European competition success, especially in the Europa League. My gosh, what is it? Seven Europa League trophies? Sergio Ramos to Oliver Torres. Pedrosa on the left-hand side. There we go. Now Sevilla's got some steam going forward. And Nasiri. Rakitic, another absolute legend. Back heel tries to back heel to end the series, but it is intercepted. And now Granit Shaka has got the ball for Bayer Leverkusen. But it is intercepted by end the series. And now maybe Sevilla can create something off the turnover. Oliver Torres. Torres going forward. Ball roll. He can't get by Kasuna. He'll lay it off to Rakitic. Rakitic, although 35 or 36 years old, he's still quality. Sumare. It is all Sevilla here. Out wide to Suso. Trying to get around the defender. He's covered. Jesus Navas to Samare. Rakitic out wide to Lucas Ocampos. 36 minutes in. Rakitic into the box. He's covered. He's got nowhere to go. There's the pass to end the series. Oliver Torres brilliantly worked. What did we say about what did we say about Sevilla, guys? What did we say about Sevilla? We talked about it. We said that Sevilla is good in these types of situations. They're that club that performs well under pressure in finals and in European competition. No one knows why. Granit Xhaka moved from Arsenal, and he's I mean he's doing very well at Bayer Leverkusen as well. Jesus Navas, the experience, nice tackle. There is half time. 1 0 for Sevilla and Castore. Second half is about to get underway, and it is underway through Palacios. I mean, let's call it what it's how it's called. It's Bayer Leverkusen, they need a goal. That's that's what we're saying here. Because <laughs> that's what that's what needs to happen. Nemanja Gudelj out wide to Suso. Nice one touch pass to Enesiri back to Suso. And there's Sevilla going forward again through Enesiri. And I mean, did we expect any less from Sevilla, guys? We said it would be beneficial. If Sevilla scored another one and then the city gives Sevilla a 2-0 lead. It's a beautiful finish. It really, really is. What a wonderful strike. 2-0 past Lucas Hradecki. It's all of a sudden 2-0 and the game is probably over unless a miracle happens. Jonathan Ta will play it into the midfield through Palacios, Palacios to Kasuno. Uh, they have to start going forward by Leverkusen. They have to start creating something. They haven't really created much. They've been making good passes. Maybe there through Verts. Nice shot. Nice save by Dmitrovic. Very, very nice attack. First attack. And they are going to make some changes by our Leverkusen. Kasuna would come off. And Adli will come on. Marcos Acuna will also come on for Oliver Torres for Sevilla. Hoffman going forward. I mean, it's really now or never for Bayer Leverkusen. Adli inside for Boniface. Boniface tries to back heel to Adli. It somehow gets there. And Hoffman will carry forward in the 78th minute. Nice place. Ball to Adli. And again... Again, Sevilla stands tall in the back, guys. Leverkusen, you need a goal now. Now, now, now. We're in the 85th minute. Verts is trying to do everything possible for a goal here. Anything. Another shot, maybe. Shaka, Boniface, Adley. Shoot the ball, guys. Shoot, Boniface. You gotta shoot. Adley, shoot. What are you guys doing? Oh, my gosh. Poor, poor, poor in the box. It is stoppage time. And Sevilla with Castore will be oh we intercepted by 
Ocampos, going forward, save! It could have been three. It could have been three. Well, it's gonna be two. Two nil is your final. The Puma versus Castore Champions League. First of all, it is won by Castore because we didn't even have a Puma representative in the final. And Sevilla will represent Castore as the best Puma slash Castore Champions League club in the world. The experience of Sevilla, the past success of Sevilla has led them to another trophy. This time it is a kid brand trophy as they are rocking Castore and they are representing Castore in a very, very proud way in this video, guys. Sevilla with Jesus Navas are your Puma versus Castore Champions League winners and fully deserving so. Really, they are. My friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, uh, this was honestly a blast to make. Every video is a blast to make for you guys. I love these random ideas. I love these random challenges and random experiments. If you have any other cool ideas that you want to see on the channel, please comment them down below. Please hit the like button for me, the subscribe button as well. Of course, if you enjoy the video, take care of yourself, take care of each other, stay happy, stay healthy, and always keep smiling, my friends. All right, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace, 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 peace. Castore on top.